Let's make a sample instrument out of these. This is a machine gun, and this is machine gunning. Our ears are very sensitive to things not sounding quite right. And this doesn't sound right because we're repeating the same sample over and over, just like here with this piano. To prevent machine gunning, we need to create something called round robins. In this example, we've created five round robins over two pitch centers, C2 and C4. Now I'm going to build this in two different sample players, contact and skip along to this time code to see it done in Logic's multi-sampler. Open an instance of contact, double click here to create a new instrument and hit the spanner to go under the hood. Click on mapping editor, drag your first two samples, C2 number one and C4 number one and make sure the root notes are correct. Spread these samples across the keyboard and you'll hear a happily machine gunning piano sample. Let me adjust the release time so it sounds more natural. Now in order to create some round robins, we're gonna to have to create something called groups. So let's click on Group Editor. Up to now, we've been using the Mapping Editor to map how samples are triggered by pitch and by velocity, and the Wave Editor to fine tune each and every sample within this map. Organizing your samples into mapped groups enables you to trigger samples by group. Click on Group Editor, and you'll see Contact has already made you a group. Retitle by double-clicking and typing RR1 for Round Robin 1. Click on the tab Group Start Options, and on the Group fold-down menu, select Cycle Round Robin. You'll see a box appear that says Position in Round Robin Chain. This is Round Robin 1, so Position 1 is ideal. Let's duplicate this group another four times to give us one for each Round Robin. You do this by control clicking on the group and hitting duplicate. Let's retitle all of these groups so we know where we are. In contact, both the mapping and wave editors will want to, as default, edit all the groups and all the samples in them. So make sure you unselect edit all groups so it's no longer red and click on selected groups only. By clicking the sample in the mapping editor, we're now selecting this to be tweaked in the wave editor. You can see the wave we have selected to play in this group as mapped by the mapping editor. But for round robin 2, we want the second round robin sample to be mapped. So simply click on this right arrow and this will select the next sample along as it is organized numerically in the samples folder. Repeat this process for all the groups. Now if we play our notes, you'll hear they sound loud and weird. This is because we're playing all the groups simultaneously. So let's go back to the group editor and advance each group in the round robin chain. And hey presto, a piano free from any hint of machine gun. This video is brought to you by Pianobook, a community of like-minded composers who make and share sounds for free. If this video has been useful for you, hit like and subscribe and hit the notification bell to see the next video in this series. Any questions or requests for future videos, place them in the comments down below. Open an instance of Logic, click on Mapping Editor, drag your first two samples, C2 number one and C4 number one, and make sure the root notes are correct. Spread these samples across the keyboard, and you'll hear a happily machine gunning piano sample. Let me adjust the release time so it sounds more natural. Now in order to create some round robins, we're going to have to create something called groups. Up to now, we've been using the mapping editor to map how samples are triggered by pitch and by velocity, and the wave editor to fine tune each and every sample within this map. Organizing your samples into mapped groups enables you to trigger samples by group you'll see that Logic Sampler has already created a group for you. Retitle by double-clicking and typing RR1 for Round Robin 1. This button opens the group list view of the mapping editor. Now there are loads of different ways of determining how a group is triggered, and you'll see them by going down to the fold-down menu called View, click across the visible group list elements. This selects what you want to see when you're in the group list view of the mapping editor. So let's tick Round Robins, and because this is RR1 or Round Robin 1, the first round robin in cycle A is ideal. I'll get back to the cycles in a minute. Let's duplicate this group another four times to give us one for each round robin. You do this by clicking on group and then duplicate. By clicking the sample in the mapping editor, we're now selecting this to be tweaked in the zone editor. You can see the wave we have selected to play in this group as mapped by the mapping editor. But for round robin 2, we want the second round robin sample to be mapped. For this, we'll need to reload a different audio file, the next one along from round robin 2 for both C2 and C4. 
Logic Sampler will help you repeat this process by showing you which samples you haven't yet loaded into this sample instrument. Repeat this process for all the groups. Now if we play our notes, you'll hear they sound loud and weird. This is because we're playing all the groups simultaneously. We can now determine where in the round robin cycle each group is triggered. Now Logic Sampler has done something clever here. It has created five round robin cycles, A through to E, one for each group but we want each group to cycle around in the same round robin cycle. So in order of round robins, simply select add to end in cycle A. And hey presto, a piano free from any hint of machine gun. This video is brought to you by Pianobook, a community of like-minded composers who make and share sounds for free. If this video has been useful for you, hit like and subscribe and hit the notification bell to see the next video in this series. Any questions or requests for future videos, place them in the comments down below.